Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In the previous video, we discussed about IELTS writing task two. However, in today's video, we are going to discuss IELTS writing task one. If you are someone who is just starting your IELTS journey, and if you are someone who is targeting higher score in IELTS writing, this video is really going to be helping you. So I'll be mentioning some of the basic details as well. So now without any delay, let's start with the video. So let's start from the very beginning itself. So first of all, if you are a beginner, you might know that already that you usually get 20 minutes in the task to write uh, uh, and you are supposed to write 150 words in your task. And uh, you might get different kinds of tasks, tasks in here. Like for example, you might get a table, line, pie or bar chart. Or you can also get combination of any of these, okay? So that could also be the case. Similarly, you can also get a process in your exam. In the process, you might get a natural or a man-made process. So the difference between the man-made and natural process is very simple. So something that happens naturally, for example, the way beans grow, it's totally a natural process. However, how coffee is made from those beans is going to be a man-made process. Similarly, you can also get a map. In the maps, you get two maps, you might get three maps, or you might just get one map. It totally depends. And uh, uh, you usually get combination of uh, these, but these are not combined. You might not get process plus bar chart. So it doesn't really happen. So uh, with that, let's see the some of the step that you need to do before you even start writing. So first of all, when you get your task, always determine the timeline of the task. So timeline means you are to see or look at the task and uh, determine that whether you are supposed to use past, present or future tense, or you, are, you need to use future or maybe uh, the present or maybe the combination of these timelines. Okay, so you are supposed to determine that and you can easily do that by just checking here in the actual statement. And similarly, look at the units that are given to you, whether you it's a percentage, number, age group, or maybe currency. It could also be miles, kilometers. So all these things are usually given in the units also. So now if you're clear with that, now let's see. And uh, in the next step, this is the structure that you have to follow when you are start writing. So you are supposed to start with the introduction and once the introduction is done, write the overall. So in the introduction, you just paraphrase the statement that is given in the question. And in the overall of the task, you are supposed to mention the main features of the task. And in the body paragraph one and two, you just define and explain the data that is given in the chart. So that's how the, uh, you usually structure it. You can write the body paragraph third as well but it, uh, it is not really necessary since you are going to be writing only 150 words. And uh, uh, now let's uh, start with that so that you can see how you will be structuring and writing your task. So this is the task in front of you. And this is how you will be getting a statement in your actual exa uh, exam also. So you could say this is your statement and uh, this is uh, this is where it ends and this is what tells us we need to use past tense here and similarly uh, always look at this instru instruction and when you're paraphrasing you are not supposed to include this part and also when you look at this they are mentioning uh, summarizing information by selecting and reporting the main features and making comparisons where relevant it means we are supposed to mention the main features and make comparison in the chart in the uh, in our answer so let's uh, check that. So first of all, this is the statement that we need to paraphrase and this is called introduction of the task. So you will just be paraphrasing this statement. I have also done this for you. So here you can see that how the internet was utilized by Canadian males and females from the age group distances for various purposes so this part actually is to be removed so it's just that okay yeah 
after that in the overall as the task has asked us to mention the main features so we'll be defining them in the overall of the task so the overall of the task can be written as the last paragraph or the second paragraph it is totally going to be fine no matter where you put it so usually i prefer writing it after the introduction itself so you can see that this is the overall that i've written for you Overall, the male population dominated the use of internet for all the given purposes except emailing and online shopping, which were explored by comparatively higher percentage of female of age group, this, 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 okay? And then you write the body paragraph. In the first body paragraph, just explain some part of your graph and in the rest, in the second one, you can explain the rest. So you could see the second body paragraph. It can be noticed that for emails, the proportion of women internet users was slightly higher than men with 72% for the former and 70% for the latter. So former and the latter, it means uh, women are former. First. So former means first and latter means second. Okay, so it's like in order. A dramatic difference was not only noticed for goods and services where there were 78% male users relatively higher than female users, but also for online shopping where 38% females were active compared to 21% male surfing the internet for this reason. And now we are left with only one paragraph. So you could see that you will be defining the rest of the task here. Moving further, the use of internet was popular among 64% uh, men for games, which had just 58% women. Similarly, even though the internet was served by least percentage of both genders for research and education, it had higher male users than female users aged between this. Okay, so this is how you can write it down. And the very important thing, if you are starting with your IELTS writing, write simple sentences because you can always make your sentences complex later on. But before that, you are supposed to get the hang of the structure of the task and how you are going to be writing it. I hope this video was helpful to you and keep coming back for more videos. Thank you very much.